Wings of Fire Hybrid Challenge two years ago. Dragon Sheep. Looks simple. Okay. Uh, lots of videos. Canvas. Number generator. Uh, so Queen would win. Okay, let's do this. As you may notice, I do not actually sketch out the drawing before doing the lines. And I am actually doing the lines right away as my sketch and my final. Yeah, I just do that. I used to sketch, but I don't anymore. Oh yeah, I'm just quick thing. Obviously, I have to do this. But the art that you see me referencing to is not my art. The only art in this video that is mine is the art that I'm drawing right now. I was gonna do mudwing wings because I cannot for the life of me draw silk wing wings. Tongue twister. Anyway. But in the end I drew wing buds. I also forgot how to draw a spiral while doing this. It took me a little bit to realize how to draw it, so yeah. I drew wing buds instead of actual wings. So at this point, I'm looking up a name for him. So I did Swamp Butterfly name. <sighs> Found Milkweed popping up twice, so I put in Milkweed. Decided to do Milkweed as name, and of course, what you see right away is a monarch. I'm not sure if monarchs and milkweeds are the same thing. Hold on. Yeah, so I just found out Milkweeds and monarchs are the same but at this time of drawing them i did not know that so you're gonna see me refer to the yellow one which i because it was called a milkweed the ones that were tinted yellow were called milkweeds underneath and the ones that were tinted orange were called monarchs underneath so you can't blame me for being being confused about that okay anyway <laughs> apparently his he's actually based off of a monarch also. It's kind of sad because the queen was called monarch. Hopefully nobody gets confused about that.
So this is where I'm looking back and looking at the Monarch, aka Milkweed, and seeing that it says mur are murderous than they look, so more and more murderous, so that's kind of helps me with the backstory. Speaking of backstory, here we go. Okay, the backstory for Milkweed. When his mother came down with the other silk wings that fleed from Pantala, which I, that's how I pronounce it, please don't, I, I might be butchering the name, please don't scream at me or anything if I am. Anyway, <laughs> so his mother was one of the silk wings that was part of the chrysalis that ran away from the hive wings. When hearing Tsunami's words about this was the worst queen they could have landed nearby, she split up from the group and headed towards the Mudwings on accident. That's where she met her husband, or who I like to call the mate, later on, who was a Mudwing. Being part of the Crystalis and actually his father being part of the war, who was a soldier, he was taught how to fight at an early age. He found himself good at it, but when he got into his first real fight that wasn't against a random punching bag, he lost his arm. Luckily, he killed the other dragon before it, that dragon could kill him. He doesn't enjoy battles, but he knows how to do them, just in case. If you're wondering why I wasn't using the paint bucket earlier, it's because this paint bucket isn't the, really the best. Because it fills it in great, yeah, but the edges near the black lines, it leaves a bunch of white and gray there. So I don't really like it because of that. So that's why you didn't see me use it earlier but you're seeing me use it now. It's because I was on a time crunch and I wanted to get this done. At least I think I said it earlier, but I really didn't like that light gray, so I ended up Changing it for like more of a peach, pale, whatever you call that, skin tone. So now I'm doing the shading, and as you can see. I actually, uh, I don't remember who I got it from, but I was a YouTuber with a guide of how to shade. So I'm just using that. I'll figure out what YouTuber it was later. But I have no clue right now. So they, basically, it was just what is it called anyway basically you would have the layer that you were using for the shading and you would turn the opacity down and then put a really dark color where you want oh sorry where you want the shade to hang to be and there you have it that would be your shading finishing up the eye now then wow there you have it Dragon Sheep, thank you for making this his name challenge because it's a, it's a blast. So his name is Milkweed. He's a guy. And yeah, that's the hybrid I made. I don't know what else to say.